Hi guys. Sorry about that, I don't know what happened. Just kind of went really dark. I wonder if it's taking something out of the room. Hi everyone, hi. So, I am a bit later than usual. I'm really, really sorry we've been filming today. Everyone's finished, they've all gone back to their rooms. But I wanted to check in and make sure that I get my live done with you today. Hello everybody, hi. So, a quick insider to what we've been doing today. Um, we did the body rock boost, which was for beginner stroke intermediates last week. Um, I spoke to you a lot about that. Now, we've just done a intermediate stroke advanced challenge. So, it's loads and loads of advanced moves. So, loads of planks, loads of push-ups. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hi. So, we are in Quebec. Um, it's super beautiful. If you are a follower, hello everybody, hi. So it's getting late, it's getting late here, it's half past four, we've been filming all day, non-stop. So I, I saw you at one with Sean, but everybody's gone to their rooms, but I've still got to check in with you, so we need to make sure we get this done, right? Hello everybody, hello. So we have just filmed a intermediate stroke advanced challenge. Um, yeah, it's really tough, pushed us really hard, loads and loads of moves, just like in the advanced uh, workouts, just like in the um, daily hit season four, those sorts of high intensity, super, super hard workouts. So, hello everybody, hi. So, I mean, obviously I'm in a hotel room, and I wanted to almost go over ways that you, if you're traveling, the way, or if you're at work, etc. Now, I've spoke about this quite a lot, I've spoke about things to do with what you can do to take to work, I've spoken about things to do with what you can do to keep yourself on track. Hello, hi everyone. Um, so I'm in a hotel room, I just want to give you a few tips on how I cope with, you know, we film all day and you can't always get room service. So there's things that you can take. Um, I, have got, I, I have had coffee today, but not a lot of it actually. We've been working all day non-stop. So, Things that I would do if I'm staying in a hotel room, obviously loads of water, definitely water. I drink a lot more water when I'm away than I do at home. Uh, because we're working a lot more, so obviously I need to stay hydrated. So water is one of the most important things. So it's gonna help, hello, it's gonna help flush all of the toxins out of your body, making sure that you are staying hydrated. If you hydrate yourself, you'll feel after so many weeks of doing it and drinking a lot of water you'll feel that it, it makes everything different muscles remember need water your body needs water hello 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 um so yeah so everybody's we've just finished our workout filming and i just wanted to go over a couple of things if you're going in the hotel room if you travel a lot you can do to almost stay on track now one of my favorite things to eat as a snack is apples apples is by far by far I have got some moves Tony so by far the most important thing that I would eat as a snack they help um, stop you from craving sugar they help like everything cravings and everything apples are one of the most on like they, they're amazing People don't realise just how amazing they are. If you fancy something sweet, if you fancy um, eating something, if you're feeling like you need to eat something sweet, just try an apple first. They're amazing. They, they get rid of all of your sugar cravings, everything. Also, loads of fibre, so they just keep you going. So apples is one of the things that if you are travelling, just shove a few of those in your bag, okay? So in a hotel room, hello. So in a hotel room, there's not a lot. There's no, like, unless you're going to pay for it. So there's a fridge full of like sodas and drinks and things like that but sometimes you get a coffee machine now i would recommend that if you go anywhere to get yourself some packet oats now in canada they do steel cut oats which is amazing steel cut oats are a little bit better for you um they're a bit um, longer lasting they'll last um they'll make you feel fuller for longer so if you can get one of these packet oats just take yourself a little bit of protein with you. So again, travel with your protein. Whatever protein that you want to use, just take a bit. Put it in a tub, put it in a jar, whatever. Put it in a, um, just take a little bit that's going to cover you. So maybe two scoops. This is going to keep you going. So if you've got a coffee machine in the room or something, you can pour it in a cup. They, they all do cups and glasses in the rooms. Pour it in your cup, add some hot water from the coffee maker or etc. Get yourself some good carbs good protein mix it together it's going to keep you on track it's going to keep you from reaching for the um, hotel menu it's going to keep you from them late night munches it's going to keep you from eating the sweets that are in that 
that cupboard, that cupboard right there. It's gonna stop me from doing that. So if you are, thank you, Joseph. If you are um, away, etc., these little tips are gonna help you stay on track. So if you get to your room at night and you're thinking that you're hungry and all the shops are shut and you don't really know where you are, or maybe you travel a lot and you're getting late to your room, get something like this, so it's gonna help you. So they all have coffee machines and tea machines. Um, or there might be a Starbucks, excuse me, we're filming all day. There might be a Starbucks nearby that you can get some hot water. Um, so yeah, um, as long as the oats are, uh, it doesn't really matter what brand they are, even if you're just going to have them dry. I've showed you before how I make my pancakes and I just put the oats in a cup and then add some hot water and then that is what you would use. So as soon as the oats are soft, then that's okay, that's all you need to do. So if you are traveling, if you travel a lot, if you find that you're in a lot of hotel rooms, this is the sort of thing that's going to keep you on track. This is the sort of thing um, that's going to keep you focused and, and stop you from eating like a full meal when you've already had a full meal. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go home of an evening, eat your tea, and then go back to your room after going out and then eat another full meal. But that's what you tend to do when you come to a hotel rooms, right? You order room service and they bring you a whole other meal. So you have to almost be very aware of how different spaces make you crave different things and how they make you do different things so um, these are a really good way to stay on track so pro, um, a good a decent whey protein make sure again low sugar high protein a decent like um, oat so try for steel cut if you can get them in a cup get some hot water if you can job done I mean you can have them cold but it's not as nice um, so yeah so there you go so apples are my number one snack and if you're struggling to stay on track and you're traveling away make sure that you're packing and you're prepping prepping is key prepping is going to stop you from slacking etc i've even got i've even got look <laughs> everyone's got one of these lying around quest bars quest bars i know they're not brilliant for you but they're going to keep me on track they're going to keep me with some good protein and when i'm filming i'll just have a bite in between shoots it just keeps me going keeps me focused so even things like this even though they're not amazing for you shove a few in your bag it'll save you from um from the dreaded night hungers where you're eating <laughs> things off the menu that you shouldn't be eating um think about apple cider apple cider i think it's i think it's okay i've not heard anything that's particularly wrong can i eat oats at night of course you can do you eat the whole bar yeah definitely paula absolutely absolutely gail um i know a bit about apple cider vinegar i have researched it i would take it in the morning with your breakfast or even at night actually so while you're sleeping I don't think it really matters. Hi, hello. So, we're in a hotel room. We haven't got a lot of equipment. The only thing I have got is my vest and some bands. So I'm gonna go over a few things that you can do um, to turn your legs. So, we're gonna put our, uh, we're gonna put our vest around our legs. So a lot of you that, are, that are, uh, have seen me before that are seasoned body rockers i've seen these moves before but remember there's a lot of people out there that haven't so we're going to work on how to turn your legs now this is our weighted vest if you don't know this is our weighted vest it's six pound and it adds more resistance to your workout so you actually wear it like this okay so if you are wanting to add more resistance to your workout all you need to do is click the link above this video and it will take you to the link we don't just give you one of these either we give you two of them but the cool thing about them is you can actually use them for different things so you can use them for a weight and I like to use mine as a leg weight so if you put the six pound vest under uh, on your ankle straight away I'm in my hotel room and I've now got six pounds of weight on my on my leg and I can do donkey kicks I can push all the way up all the way down so I'm working on my quads right now I'm working on my glutes so you're gonna go all the way up all the way down I can also come to the side so it can work in a, inner and outer thighs. So after my workout, this is gonna be my targeted bonus. I'm gonna work on doing inner and outer thighs. So maybe, I wonder if it's easier if I come this way up. No, it's easier if I come this way up. So maybe if you're going on the side, you can work some um, obliques and inner and outer thighs. So work sideways, again, kicking back. 
so much leg room I've got. There we go. Back, in, back. So we're working now all of our abs, our obliques, working that kick back just like you would if you were on the cables at the gym. Again, if you want to come up and down, you can. Working with a flat foot. Now, I don't have a lot of room. I've literally got my body's weight, my body space in room. But I'm working my ass, I'm working my glutes, and I'm working with extra weight, which is the most important thing. So if you are in your hotel room and you've done a hit workout with us, maybe you want to add an extra, maybe you want to add a bonus onto the end of your workout. This is perfect. Get your um, weighted vest around your ankle. I'm just gonna make sure it's a bit tighter so I can show you. Just give me a second, I'm coming. I'm right with you. So that's it. So nice and tight around your ankles. So again, we're gonna work abs. Maybe you're gonna work inner and outer thighs. All the way in, all the way out. Work hard. So now we're gonna work abs, we're gonna work legs. We can work our outer thighs at the same time. Again, always working with extra weight is gonna only make things happen and make things change. So if you don't have a weighted vest yet, this is how versatile it is. We've taken it to Rome, we've taken it to Mykonos, we've taken it to all of those places. As well, you can use it when you're working with your abs. So maybe you're in your hotel room right now, maybe you're going away on holiday, you've used your weighted vest for your workout, and now you want a, a bit of a bonus to make your abs work harder. You can engage your abs and you can take your legs all the way down, all the way in. Again, adding more weight is only gonna make you work so much harder. So, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. So if you want to, you can switch it. Six pound is no joke. Some of the weighted balls in your gyms, etc., weigh that much. So right now, I'm basically getting a free gym membership, getting my abs in while I'm in my hotel room. You can lift up, you can use it as a weight, working hard, using it to get some obliques in, so nice and tall, using it to stretch right over, adding that extra weight is only going to push you harder, it's only going to make you work a lot harder. So um, if you are looking to lose weight while you're, while you're away, like we are, we literally take our best, that's all we take. We took it to Rome, we took it to Mykonos, we take our best and then we do body weight workouts, which is what the workouts have been today. We've literally filmed like a bunch of workouts that all we used was the vest. So all we did was put our vest on and we did burpees, we did push-ups, we did so many different things. So as soon as you add this, you add in extra resistance. So even if you're doing abs, even if you're in your hotel room and you're doing some abs, it's still adding six pound now you can do this where you put it on the bed I if I can take it over a little bit hi hi Jackson how are you hi so again being inventive put it on the bed so you take it over put it on the bed take it down up so as if you've got a partner giving you the weight you can do that but the extra weight when you go down it's only gonna push you, it's only gonna make you work harder. So, this is our way to best. If you still haven't got one of these yet, there's so many things that you can do with them. Um, so, that gives you a few um, leg bonuses, leg exercises. If you want to do those bonuses and those leg workouts, they're in sweat flakes. So there is all of the ones that with the, with the weights around the leg, all of my workouts are in sweat flicks, so you can go in there and you can find that one and it, all it does is use the vest and it's got targeted um, inner, out of thigh bonuses, all of those are in the live workout, so check out those in sweat flicks when you're next in there. If you want to be a sweat flicks member, you get, you get it to do it for free uh, for the first 30 days, just click the link above this and you can literally um, join us today. You can join that workout today. So if you want to do the workout where you're working your inner thighs, your outer thighs, we also do um, a lot of thrusts using the vest. So we'll put our weight on our um, hips, 
What are you going to do in your hotel room of an evening if you're travelling or if you're away, you're doing nothing else. You may as well get working out and you may as well push yourself a little bit harder. So push your, so put it onto your hips and then you can literally drive up, take it down, drive up, take it down. Maybe you're going to use your bed to make it a little bit harder. Get it up, take it down, get it up, take it down. So all of these things are available. The difference is you're not just doing it body weight. By just taking this, you can add everything. You can add weight to your push-ups, you can add weight to your burpees, you can do all of that. Now another cool thing that we've got in the store right now are resistance bands. Again, easy, easy to take away, easy to carry, easy to do everything. So we have, you get five in the pack. We have these ones, which are the booty ones, which are amazing. The booty bands, honestly, they they make you work so hard. So if you're doing any squats, etc., you could almost do. Got my got my bed bed short, bedroom shorts on, so you can almost do some um, squats and you can squat down again. Wearing the vest, using the vest, you can. If you can see me, up a little bit. I'm gonna bring you up a little bit. Hi, hi. So using the vest, etc., you're gonna come down. You can work. Now because we're adding resistance with the bands, lift up, take it down. If you want to use it to use some squats and just go across, etc., you can do that. If you want to wear the vest while you're doing it, now you've got no hands, you've got all your hands free. So you can come down, you can squat, you can go in and out, etc. Again, with the thrusts, you can do it using the thrusts. You can use it to add resistance so straight away because I've got the band around my legs I'm adding resistance to my outer thighs honestly it feels like a whole different thing so you can do that as well so resistance bands for that uh, we also have the longer resistance bands as well so you can use them again in your hotel room if you want to add the extra weight around your wrist you can but in your hotel room you can do kickbacks trying to get myself in the video and show you. So you can do kickbacks, just like we did. You can do up and down, etc. But the brilliant thing about resistance bands is you don't. You can literally do anything, anywhere. So you can do squats. So now we're adding weight. We're adding resistance to our workout. If you add the little band around your legs as well. Oh, I'm sweating already. I'm telling you, you don't need a gym. All you need to do is you need to get yourself creative, add in a few resistance bands where you haven't got weight. So if you're doing our workouts, if you're in sweat flicks and you want to continue doing your workouts, instead of taking weight, take resistance bands. So when you're doing bicep curls, etc., the resistance band is going to be your weight, okay? So when you're doing triceps, the resistance band is going to be your weight. The vest is going to be your body weight, so it's going to make you work harder. So there is no reason why you can't get your workout in wherever you are. You don't need any more space than this. So if you still haven't got sweat flicks on your phone, head to your app stores, check it out. We do all of these types of workouts that you can do anywhere. We have literally done five workouts today in a hotel room using nothing but our weighted vest. And on a couple of them, we used a tiny bit of extra weight just so we could get a couple of extra moves in like some rows etc so if you add more resistance if you add more weight if you add more resistance with bands or weights or the vest you are going to see your changes happen quicker you don't have long you've got five months till summer starts appearing so let's start now let's start today let's get on it today so thank you andrew how warm you can hear that i tried to turn the air conditioning off in the room but it doesn't seem to want to turn off, so that's what you can hear. Um, hmm. Oh, if you haven't noticed, we're in Quebec, um, and last night we went to the Ice Hotel, so a lot of you have noticed that we've posted a few pictures. We went to the Ice Hotel last night. I was dancing, it was amazing. We sat in a car for so long that I just needed to almost just, just break free and just do a few moves. So we were super, 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 super tired, but, it was worth it. It was so much fun. I love dancing. I love dancing. I love it. Just to like, I felt like I was six years old in the snow and you don't know anybody and half the people here speak French anyway, so they are not bothered about me. So they're not, they're not bothered. I was just freestyling all over the place. Hi. Hi. So as 
anybody got any questions before we go on to today's 100 day challenge? Anyone? Mm. Resistance bands are amazing. Anybody that, that underestimates a resistance band has never used one. They're amazing. You can use them as, as weights and the burn you get the next day, especially if you've got like, if you want to do shoulders, etc. If you want to do shoulders and you're going to do like shoulders and if you hold it in like little presses, <gasps> the burn you get the next day, oh my God, it burns so bad. So we've gone over the vest and why you need to take it with you when you're away because we have just proved that that's all you need. And we've also gone over the, um, the fact that if you want to add on to the vest, you can also add resistance bands if you don't have weights. These are things you can take with you. These are things that are going to keep you on track. Don't think going away and just having a few days off. You can tell I've been working all day. Don't think going away and having a few days off, it's going to like be okay. You need to make sure that you're staying on track. Do something. Just do something. If you're eating out, if you're going out, you know, just add something to your day. Add a few squats, add a few rows, add something to your workout. Even if you're getting the resistance bands and you're using let's say for example you use the, the table here you can use the table here and you can get into some triceps etc you can do some um, sides for shoulders you can literally do anything with these they're amazing so if you want to we can <laughs> you can do some bicepsicles tricepsicles they're all involved there so you can use these wrap them around something you can do some presses I like to do it like that. So you almost do it a chest press all the way. If you want to, you can do the ab move that everybody does at the gym. You see them all doing it. That one, you know the one? <laughs> that one, hold it in the middle. I like to go out and in if I'm doing that one as well. You can do all this, all of these. I'm in my hotel room, I'm doing it right now. You just need to pick a, a muscle that you're going to want, want to work, whether it's legs, whether it's arms, whether it's, you know, um, triceps, biceps, whatever, and just go with it. Go and work with it. So, um, yeah, anything you can do on a cable, you can do with a resistance band. You just need to find something to, to cling it onto in your room and just go for it. Get it done. Get it done. That's what I'm saying to you. Um, anybody got any questions? So if you've just checked in with me, I've just showed you things that you can do while you're traveling. So take your vest, make sure you're taking your vest, take your resistance bands, get something in. Don't just skip your workout. Remember, you can always do some jumping jacks, you can always do some, some skipping, you can always do things like that, some high knees, maybe some step ups on a chair. You, there's loads of things you can do. As long as you've got your weight, as long as you've got some weight and resistance, just get it done. Um, so when you're traveling, I went over the fact that apples are probably one of my go-to um, treats. So if I'm craving or if I'm in the middle of a workout and I can feel my blood sugar dipping, apples are the way I go. So if you're struggling to almost stay on track, I know when you look at an apple, you're like, oh. Uh. When you start eating it, then you realize just how much you like it. So um, also take packets of oats. In your hotel rooms, you have kettles or you have coffee machines. You can have a nice hot breakfast using your oats. Take some protein with you, mix it together. Good carbs, good protein, mix it together. Make sure your protein, again, um, has low sugar, high protein, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. So take things like Quest bars. They're not amazing for you, I understand that but they've got low sugar, high protein, they'll keep you focused. They'll keep you from doing that thing that a lot of people do when you go on holiday or when you go away or when you're traveling, which a lot of you do, you go out for, t for lunch and then you get back to the hotel room and then you're hungry and there's nothing to eat but rubbish in the fridge or another meal. You're gonna order a completely like other meal from room service. So your dinner ends up costing you like twice as much money and you're eating twice as much food that you would never do at home. All because you haven't got a kitchen or because you haven't got something that you can cook in. So make sure that you're planning ahead. I don't want you to go um, through, you know, this sort of winter time, going away and meeting family and doing all of that and then going into those traps. We're trying to avoid those traps, right? So this is what I'm showing you. Breakfast ideas. 
tips and tricks that you can do that are going to stop you from get falling off the wagon because if you literally ate two meals a day and you're away for seven days you are straight up going to put on like five to ten pounds and it's going to be horrible so stay focused stay on track don't let yourself um fall so these are little tips that i hope i know they seem really simple i know they seem like i'm like yeah duh like every, everybody needs to work out in the hotel room you know whatever. and it, but a lot of people don't they don't even think about it they don't think oh god that's such a good idea and if this helps you if you're going away and this has helped you and you're just going to pack a couple of packets of porridge and you're going to pack you know a couple of quest bars in your bag and it actually is going to save you from getting another meal tonight then that's all that matters if i'm just keeping you focused and it's give you an idea or a tip to keep you going then awesome that's all that matters right so today we have filmed um an intermediate advanced challenge so if you like the advanced challenge if you like the real time challenge if you like sean's daily hit that sort of level that's what we filmed today so for those people out there that were like oh boost is too easy for me if you're just finishing the real time challenge if you're finishing sean's daily hit the next the next lot that are come in are going to be that sort of level so look out for that in sweatflix if you haven't yet joined sweatflix why haven't you joined there's a thousand workouts waiting for you to take part in you're going to be able to work out with me uh, the amazing sean light um chris ty walker kelsey Melissa Bender, there's so many people in there that you can pick from and you can work out with and you can find somebody that, that you like to train with and that's your level and you can go right the way from beginner all the way through to the advanced. So, uh, so today's 100 day challenge is going to be seriously simple, dead simple. The broadcast keeps interrupting, I didn't realise that. So, today's 100 day challenge. Obviously, I'm in a hotel room, don't have a lot of room, correct? That's right, Lisa, you definitely don't. So, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're gonna add our vest, because we have our vest, obviously. If you don't have your vest, wherever you are, then why not? <laughs> my vest comes with me everywhere. The only thing I packed in my, in my actual case case was my vest. <laughs> So, hi, hi, everything is good, everything is okay. So, I'm in a hotel room, so my challenge today is just going to be dead simple but effective. One of the best moves that you can do to burn fat is a burpee. So, just like we did, yes, uh, just like we did yesterday, we did uh, one minute squats, see how many you could do. I did 58, somebody posted they did 61. So if they did 61 in a minute, that's amazing. That means they did they did a squat a less than a second, which is amazing, right? And I had my vest on, I did 58. So did you do that one, by the way? I did post it, we were traveling all day, but I set how many, um, squats but box squats can you do in one minute without bouncing so you had to go all the way up all the way down i did 58 um and it's dead easy everyone's got a minute it just gets your heart rate up and it's perfect for things like before bed or just before you're going out or while the showers go in you can do it off the bath it, it's one of those things that you can do everywhere so um get your vest on vest up so one of the best things that you can do for fat loss is a burpee so we are going to see just like we did yesterday, how many burpees we can do in a minute. Serious, right? Now, that's the beginner. So for beginners out there, I want you to see how many burpees you can do in one minute. Now I'm gonna show you what a burpee looks like, and yes, we are adding a push-up, so don't even, oh, knees. So don't even think about it. So I'm gonna turn you around this way, so that you can, I actually have a tiny bit of room. Ooh, we're doing like a grand tour of the hotel room. Beautiful hotel, by the way. I do have an awesome hotel room. So, um, how many burpees can you do in a minute? Stop you from doing that. Advanced people, it's gonna get a little bit um, more intense for you. Advanced people, you're gonna see how many, <laughs> how long it takes you to do 50 burpees. So there are your choices. If you're just starting out with it, if you're just starting out with us, your challenge is how many your challenge today is how many burpees can you do in one minute if you are an advanced body rocker and you have been doing this 
all day every day if you're doing my hip max if you're doing Sean's challenges if you are on the advanced challenge you are gonna see how many how long it takes you to do 50 burpees yeah 50 it's not gonna take you long you do 10 have a rest do 10 have a rest do 10 it's not gonna take you long it sounds a lot but it's not so beginners your challenge today how many burpees can you do in a minute advanced how many or how long will it take you to do 50 burpees so do five yeah we're adding push-ups Caroline so you do 10 or do five have a rest do 10 do five have a rest do 10 do five have a rest this honestly sounds really like challenging because a it is when you get to like the 25 mark it is gonna get challenging but I promise you you've got this like it's not as hard as it looks there's no gonna be there's no uh, push-up either so, uh, there's no tuck jump so you're gonna be fine so nice and simple this is how a burpee looks so for beginners out there the challenge for you set today I feel like I'm like like <laughs> like this is this is heaven and I'm coming through the like, like, woo. so challenge today beginners how many burpees can you do in one minute this is how a burpee looks you're gonna come down to the floor on your feet or on your knees depending on what level you are one push up then you're gonna come in jump up so that's all it is that's it you're not even gonna add a tuck jump advanced people get down push up come in one down push up come in two that's it it's as easy as it's gonna be today so <laughs> are you answered of course so no tucks I'm not bothered about the tuck jump I just want you to do push-ups and a jump so beginners your challenge today how long <sighs> your challenge today how many burpees can you do in one minute set your timer for a minute do as many as you can now make a note of whether you wear your vest whether you go down on your knees how long it takes you make a note of that because that's going to be important for when we come back to these and you try and beat your time or beat your weight or beat your score advanced body workers out there set your timers how many how long I'm getting mixed up how long does it take you to do 50 burpees that's your challenge today push-ups added please if you don't want to add the push-up make a note of it but try and add the push-up okay so <sighs> that's it that's today's challenge I have got to get ready I've got an hour just to chill out before we do the next thing so we're gonna have a walk around Quebec tonight and get some food Um, so do 10 have um, a break do 10 have a break do 10 have a break my husband loves the protein pancakes thank you um, so that's it oh we've got some trolls today so again very quickly beginners you're gonna do them on your knees or you the further you extend your legs the harder this is so if you come on your knees it's gonna be a lot easier if you extend it's gonna be a lot harder so one push up all the way to the floor come up jump in jump up advanced people go down push up in jump up beginners how many burpees can you do in a minute advanced how long does it take you to do 50 burpees I'm interested I'm interested to see I'm gonna do mine before bed I will post how many I do um, I did 58 of last of yesterday's so if you don't need a break smash them out this should take you about four or five minutes that's it that's all these should ever take you so just get on it get posting Caroline I'm sure you'll do it work with everybody which is always awesome and um, that's it it's awesome so I'm gonna go and get ready I'm gonna get changed I'm gonna have a shower look out for the new um, challenge it's coming to sweat flicks if you still haven't joined sweat flicks go to the App Store finders um, it's free you can have a look at all the challenges and I hope these tips helped you while you're traveling etc Follow us on Facebook, follow us on the Body Rock Insider page if you're part of Sweatflakes because we're showing you all the different things that we're doing. And look out for the blog, the vlog, V-L-O-G, vlog of this trip because we're going to make a video of it so you can share the experience. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So some of, some of you out there I understand are just beginners so that all you have to do is one minute, that's it. Even if you only do two next time I promise you'll do three the next time after that you'll do four you're not trying to beat somebody else you're just taking your 
score and you're gonna write it down and then you're just a one minute you've got a minute before bed you're just gonna write it down write down what you did and then we'll come back to this one day and you're gonna beat it I promise um, advanced people same smash it 50 of them do it I'm gonna do mine before bed I'm gonna set my timer go as hard as you can the idea is you go hard you try not to have any rest because you're gonna push through get into your fat burning zone and you'll be absolutely on fire make a note of what you wear make a note if you wear your vest make a note if you you know are um, elevating your push-ups make a note of anything um, so next time you know that you're either better or improving on what you did before Mwah! I'm so tired <laughs> I'm gonna have a sit down I'm gonna watch TMZ which is my guilty pleasure in the evening I do love it <laughs> And I'm just gonna chill out and uh, I'm gonna see you on Monday we're gonna film all over the weekend to here to make sure we've got some br brilliant challenges for you and uh, once again thanks for checking in with me I'm sorry I was late today um, Daniel's gonna do a hundred go on Daniel do it yeah so if you didn't check out Sean's one o'clock we did the plank challenge and um, check that out and um, always check the Instagram just search for Body Rock and you can follow us, you can stay, you know, in touch, etc. And if you have any questions, just pop it below and I will answer them. Don't worry. Thanks. Thanks for checking in with me. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, everybody. Oh, good night, everyone. Have a lovely weekend. Happy Sunday. Bye. Post your scores.